Hi, my name is Susan, and I'm here to give you four steps to follow if your significant other or husband gets arrested. I can imagine you've never been in this situation probably before and how you must be feeling, and we're here to help good people when bad things happen to achieve their best future. Step one, make sure your significant other exercises their constitutional right to remain silent meaning that they do not speak to any law enforcement about the situation that just took place or about their arrest. You have to keep in mind that law, many law enforcement agencies are equipped with body cameras, and those body cameras are capturing everything that's going on, including any potential statements you are making. And those statements could be misconstrued later on and be used against you. So it's very important you remain silent. So the second step you should take is getting your significant other out of jail. You're in this unfortunate situation. Your significant other has been arrested for a crime. So know once they are processed and booked in the jail, most crimes have standard bonds that you will be able to post for them by using a bondsman. Some crimes, which we can get into at a later time, such as domestic violence crimes, they are non-bondable offenses until you go see the magistrate judge in the morning. But it is a very important, in addition to helping your significant other post their bond, that you remind them again to remain silent. The state attorney is constantly working to investigate and build a case against your significant other. The phone calls at the jail are being recorded, meaning, again, anything that they say can be used against them at a later time. This is not the time for them to talk about the facts of the case with you or anyone else on the phone or additionally with any inmates while in the jail. You can still talk to them, but I'd be very careful what you talk about. Even talking about simple things such as bond could potentially be a problem. You could talk to them on the phone about how the kids are doing, how work was today, your upcoming vacation, anything that will cheer you up, make you happy, except please do not get into the specific details of what just happened or the case itself. So once you get out of jail, it's very important that you immediately reach out to a great law firm such as the Ross and Law Firm team to meet with them and explain your situation of what just happened. At that time, we will go over the details of the case, your options, and where to go from there. Because there's certain things that you may not think is important that really is important. There's a lot of stuff we can do to help you before a case is even filed. That's called what's called the pre-file stage or investigation stage of a case. Because generally a case takes takes around a month to be filed on. So we like to gather as much information as possible and begin work on your case right away. So I used to be a public defender for many years of my career and there's stuff that we can do that public defenders can't do by getting on early on a case, such as what we were talking about, the pre-file stage, at reaching out to the case filers, giving them the information and convincing them not to file charges in your case. We've had great success in having cases dropped in the pre-file stage, so no Formal charges are ever filed against you. You never have to go to court. You never have to face a judge and you can put it all behind you as if this never happened. Additionally, we can help you expunge or seal this off your record to be able to put this nightmare behind you. Just this week, I had a case where this exact thing just happened, where my client, she had never been in trouble before, that she ran into an unfortunate situation, and she reached out to us. And we were able to do what a public defender wouldn't be able to do, and get all the information, meet with her, sit down, and come up with a plan together, a strategy, and we put that plan into action, and the result, we had a great result, and the case was no info before charges were even filed. Step four, once you hire an attorney, you can then reclaim your life. You could get back to work, whatever normal looks like for you. We have your back and we are there to get you through this unfortunate situation. We will represent you in court. We file waivers of appearance 
So our clients, they do not have to attend court and we attend on their behalf. We will start working on your case, file whatever pretrial motions need to be filed on the case. We work to overturn every possible stone to get you the best possible outcome. And sometimes cases, especially during COVID, have been taking longer than usual. It's a process and we are here to keep you updated and work you through each step of the process. The most important thing is to hire a great defense team, such as the five of us here at the Ross and Law Firm. We will do everything to get the best possible result for you, and our number is below.